Hello everyone and welcome to Tailored Acres. I'm Taylor and I am a home gardener in Wisconsin zone 4b and today's project is going to be planting up my porch pots and a window window planter which all our supplies are right there. My inspiration for this year's planters are based on these three plants. This begonia that is like this really pretty apricot color. I my mom had one last year and I just couldn't get over how beautiful it was. This coleus that the pink in here matches the pinks in here. And then this is a sedum, but I also have some creeping Jenny that overwintered in my window box that I'll be reusing. So a lime green that also ties into this. So it all ties together beautifully. This is my trio of planters that I have on each side of my walkway for my porch pots. So I'll go over what I already have planted here. So these were petunias or violas, I'm not sure which one, um, or maybe it's both, that I got this spring and they've been putting on a show, but I am going to relocate those today so I can get these planted up. I have my spider plant, which I just propagated from inside. I did this last year too, and it was just a really nice variegated color and really fun to add to this and obviously also very inexpensive. And then I have this Corabelle, which I can't remember the name right now. Let's see if it's in here. Midnight Rose. So if you can see, they have this like spotted leaf. And when I saw it, I just couldn't live without it. And this is a perennial, so it can go out into my landscaping afterwards. I did have Corabelles in mine last year too. And uh, they're doing great out in my landscaping now. And I thought about putting them back in here. And I did split them as well. So lots of options there. And then I also have a purple fountain grass back here that will get nice and tall for our spike element. So that's what we have. Today is actually our last frost date, May 15th. And it may be a little bit early still to plant some of these, but because they're close to the house, they will stay a little bit warmer. And if the temperatures get low where there's going to be a frost, I will protect these. Um, and the pots being easily movable, I can just sneak them inside too. A few tips and tricks for planting these planters is I reuse my soil, but I do recharge it. So I've already mixed some of this in according to the instructions on the back and just fluffed up my soil. You can also add some compost on top, which I may do because I think I'm a little bit um, short on soil here. So we can probably get that done too, just to add a little bit more nutrients to the soil. So I rehomed the little flowers that were in here. And this is what I do to uh, recharge it, is I'm just gonna mix it up, break up any roots, cause I left all the old ones in here. It's just good organic matter. All right, and then some of the Biotone starter fertilizer, mix that in. All right, and then we're ready to plant. This beauty here is going in this one. So another really good tip that I have for you to share is we pop this guy out of here. I have its container, which is the exact size hole that I need. So I can easily get this in here. So much better, <laughs> so much easier than if I didn't do it this way. So it um, looks like we have a little bit, maybe too much soil in here, but I just use that to dig it out. Actually, I think we'll be okay. Pop that out. <laughs> you want well-watered soil to do this. And then you just pop that guy in and that's it. Super easy. So the other one that's going in here is the sedum. And I only bought one of these because my greatest pleasure is to uh, get more, <laughs> more plants for my money. So I am going to just try to split this guy. We'll see how it goes. I think that the roots are probably quite shallow. So it should be pretty simple here. I'm just trying to feel... Where we're at 
Okay. And just gently tease this apart. There we go. So then we got two for one there. All right. And this one I'm just going to dig with my hand. This is not the same size as the pot anymore. We're going to nestle him down in there. There, just like that. All right, so that one is all set to go for our containers. Another tip is to stick your tags from your plants in the back here so you know what you planted. So adding to this container, I have this guy here, and this one just has a little tiny root ball. So I'm just going to pull this back, and I, I've already amended the soil too, and stick him in here. Um, I do need to get more soil for this one, so I'm going to plant it a little bit high here as well. So that one's all set. And coleus get huge, so make sure that you have enough room for them to grow. And then I need to go grab the other one here in the back. I did go and grab some compost to just top dress this, so I'm just going to spread that around here before I go and get that other coleus. And the other coleus is not here because I propagated it for my coleus last year, and that's upstairs under the grow light still. Here's my coleus, and I propagated this from um, a cutting that my mom took over winter, but I propagated this one just a few weeks ago. So I'm excited to see how the roots are doing here. So get a little spot dug for it. And these things get huge. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> I'll see if I can find pictures from last year. So, all right. So the moment of truth here. Oh yeah, I already see roots. Look at this. That's awesome. So that happened very quickly, which I figured it would, but free plants from last year. And I do have that in another video if you want to go look for that one. All right. So we're just going to nestle him down in there. And I probably should have hardened him off, but this planter is in mostly shade all day, so he should be okay. All right, so that one is complete. So here is our final arrangement. And I'm very excited about how this is going to turn out, but it looks kind of pathetic right now. But like I said, coleus, don't underestimate how large they get. So that's what we got. Really looking forward to that this year. All right, let's head back to the window box now. This is my window box area, and this I've had for, I think this is the third year, fourth year now, third year that I've had it. And it's so much fun because inside that window, that's our dining room down there. So you can see all of the plants like right in your face when you're eating. It's so fun. I love it so much. Um, I'm so glad we had them put it in. It was kind of a last minute addition and our contractor was willing to do that for us um, when we did our remodel downstairs. So these are the plants that I have for this area. And let me change the zoom here. There we go. So these are begonias. They're the same begonias as the front. I just needed more of them. Obviously they're so gorgeous. These are Dusty Miller. And then we have some Beacon impatience here and these this color matches really nicely with the impatience like if you see like that outer dark darker pink color or brighter pink color on them so that will be our combination here so i'll work on getting these planted up So this is what it turned out like. I may move things around still. Um, we'll see. I was really considering putting the begonias over here and just having some of the more of the impatience in the middle. I might just try that right now and see how I like it actually. Um, it's just a lot in the center here right now. All right. I changed it around and I'm liking this a lot better. Um, I also moved the Dusty Miller, so I'm not using one of those, but I'll find somewhere else to stick that beauty. So it's looking good. And this is that um, Creeping Jenny that actually overwintered here. And it's looking really good. So 
I know that people say, you know, it's going to set down and run, but in this box, it's not really going to go anywhere. So I didn't let it root anywhere else and it's all looking good so far. I'll just kind of keep training it to come over this way so that we can see it. I'm standing right by the window now. So this is what I can see from inside my house. And this is our rock collection down here. All right, that's everything for today. You can see Hank is uh, keeping our new plants warm and probably destroying them, but <laughs> we'll give them a good water after this and hopefully they spring back. But he loves that warm dirt, even though he's black, he loves being warm. So, all right, well, that's everything for today. Thank you and take care.